Kimis, uh, tell us what it's like to be an uh, SEC offensive line in the league. Do you feel like you had that kind of performance out there on Saturday? Uh, I want to say I feel like I had that kind of performance. Uh, I just come to practice every day, work hard, and uh, get the work done. But uh, it's nothing major. Uh, I'm not glorifying myself. Uh, I'll be glorifying my team and before I glorify myself. So we worked as a young to get the job done. That's all it matters. Perfides, how do you feel like the offensive line performed as a whole, and, and how did it get better as the game went on? It seemed like the first couple of series were a little tougher. Uh, in the beginning, you know, uh, we was a little shaken up. We had to get adjusted to the game speed or whatever. But uh, other than that, we came to the sideline, made a few adjustments, and realized what we had going on, and just tried to take care of business. Uh, I can't really evaluate what's going on with the other four offensive line because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do at that time. But uh, yeah, we're just trying to work hard. Rick Henry. Isn't it a special game to yourself and other offensive linemen that you were named um, Offensive Lineman of the Week, especially the past couple of seasons. When you start talking about question marks about the game concept, the offensive line always seems to come up. Um, no, I would say uh, me winning that award kind of brings out uh, the ability to be able to achieve the award. Uh, Terrence came to me the other day and said, well, you got it the first week, I'm going to try to get it the next week. And uh, that's the kind of competition that we need. We, if we can, we can, we need to try to get all five, five weeks in a row if we could. But uh, like I said, we're just coming to practice and working hard. And if we're able to do that, um, that's what we're going to try to do. But our main goal is to protect Steven and Connor and uh, open them holes for Marcus and the rest of the running backs. Being from the state of Georgia, uh, does this game mean a little bit more special to you? Um, especially what happened there uh, two years ago in, in going Georgia Melter? Uh, I would say it means nothing to me because I'm from Georgia, because uh, I'm in South Carolina. But uh, yeah, it means something because it's an SEC game. It's an SEC East game, which is important. So uh, we're trying to get our SEC schedule started off right. With the <coughs> Uh, we're just going to try to prepare as best we can and hopefully it'll show up on Saturday. Does the, uh, when you guys were down 17 nothing to East Carolina, does, is that, that adversity something that you guys can draw on when you go into a, a place like Georgia that's a, extremely hostile? Oh, yeah, that helped a lot. Um, I think it gave us experience knowing that we can't come out and play flat in the beginning of the game. Um, after the game, we had to sit down and really think about what we were doing. And uh, we know that it's going to be a hostile environment. So uh, we're going to have to do what, as, as best as we can to get ready for this game. Because Joe is a pretty good team, and we're going to have to come out and play hard. Uh, you know, Rock, you guys are favored in this game, which generally hasn't been the case in years past. Do you think that maybe changes the perception of Georgia a little bit because then you guys are picked to win? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, we look at every opponent the same. We look at ECU the same way we're going to look at Georgia. Uh, everybody has a chance to beat us. And uh, if we don't come out with our stuff right, you know, we'll be on the losing end. So we got to look at every opponent the same. It's a big game every week. Rick Heavey, uh in last year's game, I mean, what do you remember about how Marcus kind of wore them down, how you guys kind of wore them down? But with, with the running game and, and kind of took control, could you see as the game went on that you know they were taking that uh, you know they felt you guys were taking control? Um, I wouldn't call it taking control. It was uh, coming in with a game plan to run the ball, and uh, we thank Coach Bird for giving us the opportunity to block for Marcus uh, during that week. He gave us a chance to run the ball. He had 37 carries, you know, for a pretty good amount of yardage, and. Uh, I think it wasn't necessary to take control. We just had to keep keep the game plan going. That was our game plan was running football. Back to the one here. Do you consider this game kind of a set, uh, scene setter for the season? I mean, the first SEC game is versus a team that's, you know, one of the traditional powers. Who wins this game? Do you think that kind of sets the tone that they're going to be a factor down the line? We focus on Georgia and only Georgia. Uh, we're not worried about the rest of the season. Basically, um, all our focus is on this week is the Georgia Bulldogs. We're not thinking about the SEC championship, who's the East contender. 
we thinking about the game of week two and this and that.